in 70 minutes time. Might be more than that, might be less. I'll let you know if you care. Uh, we'll find out if this is stonking or stinking. Hey everyone, it's Barry here. Hope you are well, wherever you are in the world. Today we are making possibly one of the worst voted recipes on Buzzfeed Tasty. Let me explain, let me explain. Hi Ma, uh, you know that I like to use the phrase stonking over the years. I found this dessert from Croatia called Stonska and apparently it isn't stonking at all. Sugar Addict 56, great username. Guys, this was absolutely disgusting. The pass had an extremely weird taste with the sweet sugar and this was so time consuming. Don't waste your time and money. Though Claudia Paraska said perfect, especially for pasta lovers. PH horrible, like just not good. I love this from Adam Little. I can't tell if I like it or hate it. Well, just keep eating it, Adam. <laughs> when an Italian family finds this, there's a picture of a knife. <laughs> if you liked this, then you should get a COVID test. Oh my gosh. I really like Gummy Penguins uh, username and also their comment. One tip, if you do not like more different foods, don't make. Don't make. <laughs> try if you like to try different foods. I would personally make again. And that is hopefully, well, we're going to find out if this is Stonkska or Stinkska. I'm kind of on the fence. 15% people would make again. There's 29 tips, although I think you could argue a lot of those were not tips. Let's see if we can make it 16% making again. First thing we've got to do is make a dough. Ah, oh, whoops. We make a dough that kind of cloaks and encases the pasta. Um, we'll, just, we'll just follow these steps. This is, this looks okay. And I'm in happy territory right now. I can do this step. This is okay. Two eggs. This is some olive oil. Because on the clip, it did have quite a unique colour. And I think it comes from the yolks and the oil. This is some apple cider vinegar, which goes in. Sounded nice, didn't it? Ugh. Whoa. Yep. Just beating the eggs together with our lovely apple cider and the oil. I don't get it why you do this. Sometimes I'm like, why the heck do you need to beat? Yeah, it's all gonna get beaten together, but let's just, let's go with it. It's got 15% we make again for a reason, you know? Now we get an unnecessarily big bowl. In goes the plain flour, apparently. I'm saying apparently to cover my bases. So we're gonna make a well. Little shout out to James. In goes, oh, look at that. Like a big egg replica there. No, amazing. You know when you're trying to do a cooking video in your own home and like you're trying to find your, your favorite utensils and they're all in the dishwasher from the weekend? That's my life today. Anyhow, we're gonna mix this together and this isn't the only fluid. So I guess this is gonna get absorbed and go quite dry by the sounds of it. Cause it also says to add in some tap water, which I've got to one hand. Okay, so we're gonna add the water in gradually as needed until the dough begins to come together. And also I've forgotten to add my salt in. So um, we'll get that in now. That should have gone in with the flour at the start, but I guess I got a bit excited with me uh, vinegar, didn't I? That's starting to bring together now. Look at this, awesome. It does say you might need a bit more. So I'm gonna be going to that tap in a minute, I think. Oh, do you know what? I think I've made it a bit too wet now. I'm like, gee, come on now. Cause we're gonna have to knead it. God, I've ruined it, I've ruined it. Uh, what a plonker. Let's just keep going now. <laughs> so you need five kilos of flour <laughs> by the end. <laughs> we'll get it right, don't worry. I know you're not worried. I don't know why I'm saying that. You're, you're not worried. You didn't care. It's about me, I've got to eat this. Or oh, Boston. This is now tacky the way I like my 80s films. I don't want to get my phone out right now because I'll be going back to the phone shop yet again to ask them to clean the variety of food out of it that they often were like, uh, is that icing sugar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About two minutes of kneading just to smoothen this up. And this is what's gonna wrap our pasta. I kind of want to make it look pretty. I feel sorry for this recipe. I hate knowing that a recipe is rubbish. If this is as bad as it is, I might get the opinion of you guys to make it look good. How can we improve it? But hey, we let this rest for a bit now, apparently. Uh, what are you thinking, Cam? Do you, do you like the uh, way this is going? The dough's not so bad right now. Mm, I'm not worried about the dough. It's the spiced rum in a dessert, which sounds amazing. Yes, that's coming soon. Uh, so yeah, the dough wasn't too bad, apart from the vinegar and a bit too much water. All right, let's uh, whiz up some nuts, which you shouldn't need to do. Just buy ground ones. Genuinely, that's what we have. To, this is a step. Best kitchen gadget in the world. 
food scissors, 100%. What's different about food scissors? Just, uh, nothing, they're just, they're just called food scissors so you can get away using the food. I'm oh, using the craft ones with super glue on them. I love how Cam is asking the questions that you guys have always wanted to know. There we go. It's still a little chunky actually, and I quite like that. If we've got to do it ourselves, we are gonna add rusticness. They had chopped walnuts already. They had ground walnuts. We want them ground, but um, I've got 250, so only about uh, three quarters, good maths, uh, of this pack. I do love a walnut. It's the, one of the only nuts that me that actually looks like a nut. Do you know what I mean? It looks like it should be nutty. Like an almond looks more like a bar of small soap for a squirrel. <laughs> I was so tempted to have a mouthful of that. <laughs> It'd be like eating sawdust. Oh, God. Needs pasta. So we've got the nuts, all good. Uh, I've just weighed out two teaspoons of cinnamon. All right, happy with that. Uh, and of course, some sugar, which will sweeten it up. Boy, right now, does it feel like it needs it, particularly as it's specifying that I need to use baking chocolate, which apparently has slightly less sugar in it. Uh, so we've got this brandy stuff. It doesn't say whether it's to use dark or milk, so I bought a combination of both. And we have the great chocolate. Now I'm not going to go down the nut territory again of like, oh, we could buy ground ones and I could have bought chocolate chips, but we need to grate it so it fits all in the holes and the gaps in the pasta apparently. And I blooming hate grating chocolate. It generally does grate me, but let's get on with it. Oh no. <laughs> That's why I hate it, it's quite a warm day and it's all getting all muggy and I've got to say clammy again, I'm so sorry. Clammy chocolate. This is the bit as well, when you get down to a grater like that, you're like, oh no, I'm gonna take my finger off. Oh, at least it'll add texture. Oh, look, I mean, it's warm in here, folks, but that's the thing, with grating chocolate, you generate heat anyway, and over time, it does just do its own thing, doesn't it? I need to wash my hands before the postman comes later because that might look suspicious. Yes. Oh, grating chocolate, honest. I think this is gonna look pretty cool. Look at this, oh, look at that. It was all worth it. Oh my gosh, that makes the great, oh look, the two-tone. Yes, 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 yes. There's just enough room for the uh, cinnamon. Put it in there, lovely jubbly. Looks like something I'd really love to sprinkle on an ice cream. Oh, because you've got the chocolate. Oh, and the sugar, look at that, it just came out of nowhere. I bet that tastes nice, actually. Oh, it's still dry, blimey. Oh, that's like a bit of an aftertaste now. It tastes a bit like a firework. A nice firework, if that makes sense. <laughs> Folks, it is a doomy glade. Good job we got these lights in here. Look at that, it's amazing. This is a crazy one here. It looks like a flower. Okay. Well, I don't know what that's doing, but I, I love it. Uh, anyhow, yesterday I made some pasta. We needed leftover pasta for this recipe. Let's check it out what happened. Well, spoiler, I cooked pasta. Hello, welcome to yesterday. I've got some penne pasta and some boiling water. This is my first time cooking pasta, knowing that I don't need it now. <laughs> like, I intentionally need leftovers, and I'm worried about squishing it. Woo! The packet says to cook it for 10 to 12 minutes. I'm gonna cook it slightly less than that. I want it al dente. Right, so my plan is, I'm a bit worried uh, that if I put it in a bowl, like you would do with leftover pasta, I've cooked it al dente, we wanna keep that tubular shape. Apparently that is important. So, right, just to stop it sticking together. This is proper leftover pasta, isn't it? <laughs> right, back to tomorrow, and hopefully this will be stone cold and not one big lasagna sheet. And here it is, it's been in the fridge overnight. That is so cold. Yes, that is what a fridge does, but it's nice and tender. Let me just see, we've still got the, a little bit of movement on there. Perfect, I really want it to hold its shape. I think the oil really did help separate it. I had to break up like one piece. Now this is where I think the recipe could get weird. Yeah, so the pasta is gonna get chucked together with some olive oil, some dark rum, which I'm actually quite a fan of, but also the juice of a whole lemon and the zest. Now I think the lemon, although we all love a lemon pasta, don't we? It might be fine, but this is where I think we're starting to go downhill. I really wanna make sure that it is the juice of a whole lemon going in. Yeah, one lemon zested, one, it just says lemon, doesn't even have a one next to it. Look, just says lemon. Juiced. Lemon. We'll go with it. Into this gigantic bowl. In goes that lemon zest. Olive oil and rum. Boom. Oh, actually, should we just have a... <clears throat> God, I preferred the vinegar, actually, at one point. <laughs> like, wow, okay. That was going in. Looks like seaweed washed up. Almost like 
the citrus version of Parmesan, these specks of the zest are getting all on there and probably into those tubes of pasta. Actually smells quite nice. I feel like I'm a part of a secret club where like only a few people actually like it. But in Croatia, they blooming love it. So I'm all for that. In a medium bowl, I am running out of bowls. <laughs> Whisk together the eggs, there's six eggs, I remember that, and vanilla extract until smooth. All right. Oh, that's what's gonna bundle this together, isn't it? Nice. The head whisk is starting to get quite damaged to the point where there are some bits in its eyes. Ah! Ugh! Um, that I can't really get out. Let's whisk these eggs. I actually just showed Cam, I was like, oh, another video I really wanted to do is homemade vanilla extract. And Cam wasn't aware. Have a little, have a little smell of this. Smell that? <laughs> Your nose is a microphone. Actually, there is uh, alcohol in this, so it's almost as strong as the rum, right? It is, yeah. It's like a shot. Ugh! Oh my God. I have never done that before. And now I know why. All these years of doing cakes and you're putting vanilla extract in, are you just generally just slapping in a bit of vodka with an extra vanilla pod in it? Blimey. One os. That is a lot of eggs. Vanilla in. Whisk till smooth apparently. All right, folks, the oven is going to 180C, 160 fan, 350 Fahrenheit or equivalente. Let's get the dough ready. This is a springform tin that it all comes together in. Uh, we've got the spray oil to lubricate it in a bit, but of course the dough that we made earlier, uh, that has actually relaxed quite a bit. You can see it's gone a bit more floppier there, but we've got to roll it out massively, not only to do the base of this pan, go up the sides, but also over the top. So let's hope that it holds together. A bit like me, I'm trying. To, I'm literally trying to hold myself together with this video. I'm, I'm all right right now. I'm holding the fence. Just hope I don't rip this. We're going to generously flour down with more plain flour. Oh wow, that is smooth. Look at that. Oh, I felt like it wanted to tear. Then oh no, I don't want to take it too thin, and I feel like I'm at that point. So I'm going to push it more. Obviously. All right, fun times, fun times. I am gonna check the next step. <laughs> I think we've done that. Oh my gosh. Oh, my oven's ready as well. That is perfect timing. Oh, folks, I just forgot. We needed eight tablespoons of butter as well. It's suddenly gone a bit frantic. I don't even know what step I need this for now. Got butter on my hands. Sprinkle about a third of the nut mixture over the dough in an even layer. There we go, that's about a third, isn't it? For any of you cat lovers out there. All right, half of the pasta, another third of the nuts. Dollop four tablespoons of softened butter all over the nut mixture. Repeat to make another layer with the remaining pasta nuts butter. Pasta nuts butter. Beautiful. Nuts again. I don't think these are tablespoons quite, but. Pour the beaten egg mixture over everything. Like everything, like your whole house. Bit worried about this. It could spill out, but then I think it's deceptive, isn't it? It's gonna be some air pockets, surely. Right? Just notice Cam's got some flour on him. Sorry, mate. It's all action here. Oh, look at this. I'm not seeing any seeping. I really want to see that seepage. <laughs> you know, that well-known cooking show phrase. Wow. Is that gonna bond and bind this all together? Bake for seven, 70 minutes, that's gotta go in the oven. Well, he cooked the pasta yesterday. I don't know if this is gonna be very pretty. I apologize to every Croatian. Oh, look, I've split it. Oh, stupid pasta, right, let's get him out. Shard of pasta. Shard. We can, we can bodge this, folks, don't worry, we'll get around it. Melted butter on top before we bake this. I mean, oh, the good thing is it gets covered in icing sugar and icing sugar masks a lot. I wanted that on a t-shirt actually. Or was it? You can hide anything with icing. With a dead body or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> in 70 minutes time, might be more than that, might be less. I'll let you know if you care. Uh, we'll find out if this is stonking or stinking. It's time. Uh, the butter is dripping out, which is making the oven smell. See these drips hitting down there? Look at that. Oh, oh it's blooming heavy. I'll give it that. Oh. It doesn't really matter what this looks like because this is actually the bottom. This is the base. It gets flipped over. I've got to clean that oven out though. Mrs. B's going to kill me. What do the sides look like? Any good? Oh, I am happy with that. It's just the pasta in it. No. Come on. 
if I end up loving this, it's gonna be a great day. It told me to leave this for 15 minutes to cool. I've actually left it for two hours and I feel like I wanna leave it longer so it's chilled. I get a nice sliced fruit so it's firm. I might do that later, but I'm impatient. This is the bottom. We're gonna flip it. Indiana Jones, eat your heart out. Oh. oh, nice, okay. I don't know if that's a little bit of like the butter where it's seeped to the bottom perhaps, but we have to remember there's baked egg in here. Are we going lemony pasta frittata? We can make it look nice though, and that is the final step. Some raspberries. There we go. And let's just, wait, let's get a blueberry on the floor because Boston can eat that. Put enough sugar on something, tastes all right, right? Nice. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm impressed. Right now, stonking. The sweetest pasta you'll ever eat is what it's described as. And you can't deny with the sugar that went in there that it could be that. Let's have a go. Ooh, wow. I think you've got a better view of that than I have right now. It looks bizarre. Hey ho. Let's go right across it, shall we? Get right in there. Oh, wow. It might be quite the chomp. It smells a bit like baklava. Mm, that's weird. It's like eating a bag of stones. Except the fact that it's still slightly warm, somehow, two hours later. It's like got his own equator or something. The pasta is not a problem at all. I was expecting this really horrid, bitter, citrusy thing. The chocolate has melted and fused together. You can't taste egg. There's no omelette or frittata vibes going on. I actually like it. That is a bit of a plot twist. I know you probably wanted to see me going, oh my God, hey, but I've got to be honest. Luka Modric and fellow Croatians, I salute you. That is actually pretty darn good. I think I've expanded my taste buds over the years and tasted some pretty interesting things. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a blooming weird texture. <laughs> I quite like like nutty desserts. So like, I actually like that. And I think this guy was quite the fan of it as well. <laughs> he got quite a lot of fruit from it because it is uneven on there, but it doesn't matter for me that is stonking. Now, Mrs. B isn't here at the moment. She'll be home in about three hours. But of course, Cam uh, has been helping me so much. It's been so nice for me uh, in the last few days already since having your help. Thank you, Cam. And I think it's only fair that I uh, take the camera right now uh, and you can actually uh, have a taste of this. You all right? Yeah, really looking forward to it. <laughs> can you taste the rum? You can't. Oh. Does this autofocus? Yeah. Oh, wow, this is amazing. Oh, no. <laughs> Would you pay for that? <laughs> well, I bought the ingredients. <laughs> and I, I, you know, kind of got quite a lot left. Bit dry. Bit dry, okay. Maybe a little bit of um, some sort of sauce? It is very dry, to be fair. Well, there we go, folks. I don't think Cam is in the 15% club, are you, mate? <laughs> Just outside. Would you like to take some home for dinner? No. Oh, great. Well, there we go. it's a very opinionated dessert. Thanks for watching, folks, and uh, we'll see you next time. Right, uh, picnic? <laughs> Oh, it's crispy. Yeah. And it isn't savoury. It looks like beef mince. It does. Penny for your thoughts? Chewy. <laughs> That'll be the gravel. That's bizarre. Would you eat it again? No.